This is the first time we have done a full program exploring the rich oral traditions of the African American community. And it came at the suggestion of the director of the festival, Diana Parker. My name is John Franklin. I am Director of Partnerships and International Programs for the National Museum of African American History and Culture. The focus of the museum is to look at American history through an African American lens. Following World War I, the colored veterans asked for a museum to be created in Washington to show their contributions to American society. It's taken almost 100 years for that dream to be realized. Because of President Obama, people want to know more about the African American experience. Often, pieces of contemporary language are pulled out of context and used in ads or used in speeches. The program gives our visitors the opportunity to explore oral expressions that are part of American society, but that have their origin in the African American community. We felt that it was important to show poetry, theater, comedy, oral expressions associated with music and children's culture. We have particular components looking at what happens in a neighborhood. And that's reflected in the barbershop, beauty parlor area, where we'll have the kind of discussions that take place within a community. I can remember sitting in the barbershop as a young boy and listening to the debates that would go on. It was a sort of a stylized set of debates. There was a format and a respect for differences of opinion. And this was an arena to discuss the concerns of everyday people, but in a purely oral context. I think that people will find the storytellers particularly engaging, because for young people and for adults, if you wish, they can take on persona. They can also transport you to different times and different places. We have a community radio station. Radio stations either run by or listen to African Americans were a place where you had the opportunity to learn about the news and issues of concern within that local African American community. We have a children's area called the Young Wordsmith. As young people, we learn how to express ourselves. We learn to listen to a range of cultural oral expressions. Culture comes in every age group. For an African American museum, we have to make it clear that culture does not end at a particular time, does not end in a particular generation. So many museums end with the civil rights movement. And this is a museum, because it is national and international, that has to look at what future expressions are going to be.